Now it is time to put some finishing touches on Linux Mint and give you some ideas on how to add even more great programs to your new Linux Mint. First off, if you would like to change the background or your wallpaper, just right click on any blank spot of your desktop and click Change Desktop Background. You can then choose from any of the multiple pieces of art that is given to you by Linux Mint or you can click Add to add your own. And then once you've added it, you can click it and choose it and now you have a new background. If you want to add Solitaire to your new Linux Mint computer, click Menu, click the Software Manager, which is either here or you can also find it under Administration and right here, so either place. Once you're in Software Manager, you have to type your password in. You can browse the over 43,000 different programs that are available for Linux Mint by category, or you can use the search box in the upper right-hand corner. We are going to use it to get to the Solitaire program I recommend for folks coming from Windows, and it's just A-I-S-L-E-R-I-O-T. Once it comes up in the search results, double-click it it'll tell you it's not currently installed so we're just going to click the install button and at the bottom of the screen you can see the progress of the item and you can also search for and download multiple programs at the same time so if you'd like to add other games to your new system there's a great set called gnome games but you gotta put a dash in between gnome and games and by installing the GNOME games, you're going to get a great selection of different games that include Sudoku, Chess, Mahjong, and much more. So once we've arrived at its page, again, it tells you it's not installed. Just click the Install button. That's all there is to it. Once these programs get installed, you will find them, again, back at the menu. And you can see a new game subcategory was put in there, and there's my Solitaire. Now likewise, you'll use this software manager to remove things that you've tried and you don't necessarily like. So if I go into my menu and into my internet section, I'm never going to use the Pigeon Internet Messenger, so I'd like to get rid of it. So the way to do that is again to go to the software manager and then search for the program that you would like to get rid of, and in my case it's this Pigeon. And you'll notice you get a lot of results, but the one that you have is the one that has the green check mark. That indicates that it's installed. So I'm going to double click it, shows me it's installed, and I'm going to say remove it. After I click remove, you'll see down here I have some ongoing actions occurring. And you can simply minimize the software manager. You do not have to wait for those things to finish. You can keep moving on with your day. So I'm going to minimize that. So lastly, you have your new programs on here and you'd like to maybe add some of the ones you're going to use most often to your desktop. The way you do that is click Menu. I'm going to add a Firefox, which is your web browser, to the desktop. So I'm going to go to Internet. Here's my Firefox. I'm going to right click and choose Add to the desktop. And there it is. So again, if I want to add my Solitaire game that I just added, I'll go to Games find my solitaire game, right click, add to desktop. So that is it for getting started with Linux Mint. I hope you enjoyed these short tutorials and I also hope you enjoy learning to use and getting along with Linux Mint.